Jasmine, can you tell me a little something about yourself? Um, sure. Um, I'm one of the NASA astronauts here at Johnson Space Center. Um, before coming to NASA, I flew Cobras and was a test pilot for the Marine Corps. So how did you like uh, the Marine Corps as being a pilot? I loved it. I got to fly uh, Cobra attack helicopters. I did three deployments in those and then was lucky enough to get selected as a test pilot, which to me combined my love of uh, operational flying and engineering. And so I really enjoyed being involved right at the outset of what we were uh, developing different systems for the aircraft, um, whatever they were, whether it was avionics, navigation devices, or weapon system, and getting that input right, right at the beginning to change the design so that we could hand the, the fleet pilots a good product. Did you ever have any scary situations? Um, I, I did have a, a couple a couple of scary situations that uh, a couple flights that probably stand out to me. There are you know about a handful that stand out to me. Is, okay, I'm, I'm glad to be back on the ground. The, your, what is your uh, future? Are you uh, scheduled for a uh, little mission? So I'm currently scheduled. Uh, uh, I'm going to be the commander aboard Crew Seven, so a SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon, going to the International Space Station in, in about a year from now, and that'll be a long duration mission, about six months, where we'll be doing different science and experiments and anything that's needed on the station, and then returning back. What type of experiments do you expect to do? Um, what I find really fascinating is we do a lot of experiments on ourselves. Um, oh and learning how the human body reacts to um, you know, space is an extreme environment. How do we handle the radiation? How do we handle the weightlessness? How do we handle the psychological aspects of being away from home and being so far uh, from our home planet? And so um, that that is something that I think is really interesting to help prepare us for future missions. Um, I also think the other medical uh, experiments we do, things like you know, on Earth when you do a cell culture, it's two dimensional, but in space you can develop them in three dimensions, which more accurately simulates our actual tissues and, and our body and how our cells uh, produce. So um, from that we can do different experiments on different drugs and things like that that really help us back here on Earth. So I'm excited to do those experiments. And as far as Orion goes, uh, what's your hopes for that? Um, I, I've got, uh, had the opportunity to be involved in some of the development um, of the displays and the cockpit of Orion, so I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, first Artemis 1, but then Artemis 2, when we'll have our first crew aboard uh, Orion, and getting the feedback from them on, on what they thought, and of course, Artemis 3, where we're actually will land uh, humans on the surface of the moon again. Back to the Crew Dragon and going to the ISS. Um, if you're working on Orion a lot, you probably know Randy Bresnik. Yes, I do. And uh, fellow Marine. He um, took up fidget spinners. You know, his kids gave him that, and they're you know, and he took them up. Do you plan on doing anything special like that? So I've I started thinking lately about what I'm gonna bring bring with me and what what could be cool to play with. Um, I'm kind of interested to see how a yo-yo would do in space and. Um, you know, different gliders and things like that. So um, there are a couple of things I want to bring up, but I haven't, I haven't um, completely decided yet. All of you guys when, uh, do the pictures and put a montage together at the end. Have you started thinking about what kind of music you're going to do for that? I have not gotten that far yet. <laughs> How about mission, mission Patch? Have you started thinking about that? Yes, we're working, we're working on our mission patch. We're hoping to have it done you know, in a few weeks here, but uh, I'll keep it a secret. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much.